What's the next one? Ah, kadan, galeng, di ba? So we segue to that. How do you prepare your pitch? Okay. Uh, we're coming from the from the from the physical and the you know the vocal connection. Okay. So how do you deliver your pitch? You be there. You connect. You be clear. You tell your story and you hook. I'll go through this one by one. Again, be there. So when I say be there. Obviously, you're there to make your presentation, but more importantly, is you're there, mind, body, and soul. It's a show. Okay, so you perform. I don't care, uh, or your panel here doesn't care, what 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 personal problems you have, what your mental health condition is. Uh, did you get a flat tire on the way to to work? Did you just get robbed? Nobody cares. When you're doing your pitch, when you're doing your presentation, you're there for that, mind, body, and soul. Okay, it's a switch, turn it on. And then you connect. Eye contact, body contact, hi to people. There are human, a hi to them. If you have to do that, connect, okay? Because even if they, even if they are not, uh, even if they don't look like it, they are humans also. Okay, even if they don't look like it or act like it at the same Students, for instance, thesis and all of that, those people in your panel, in your thesis panel, they're also human in more ways than one. May mga tao din yan, even if they don't look like it at that moment. So connect, because that brings in the humanity. That brings back the humanity. And humans do not attack other humans. People attack people, but humans do not attack humans. Okay? Next, be clear. Be clear in what you're saying. Do not go around the bush. Do not have 20 slides explaining one concept. Be clear. Ano ba talaga kuya? Okay? Also, use your voice. Be ready to present. Clear. Next is tell your story. So now we're, now we're looping back. We're reconnecting now to this whole concept of business storytelling, right? How did we get, how did we, how did I get to where I want you to be? That's what I'm pitching to you. Remember, that is what we're pitching here. How do I want you to get to where I am? Or this is what I know. I want you to get there also. That's the story there. And last is to hook. When you begin your pitch, when you begin your talk, you always have to hook. And what is a hook? Hook is literally just like in fishing. You want to be able to throw something out there and hook them and then reel them in. If you do not hook, if you do not capture your audience, your listener, then how can you ever manage them? Again, think of fishing. How will you eat that fish if you never catch it? How will you catch it if you're not going to hook it? You have to hook them. So your first sentence, your opening salvo, your mere presence should already be a hook. It should be a reason why they should stick around. If I opened today and said, you know, uh, when was the last time you had to pitch someone an idea? It, it makes you think. Or what if I said, for instance, what if I told you that all of your that um, all of your boyfriends and girlfriends are actually already cheating on you? They're like, what? Excuse me. But I have your attention. Now I can pitch you. Now I can get in there. Okay. So. How do we pitch effectively? Always stay true to the vision. Even if, even if the discussion is already going around or it's moving away, always return, always stay true to your vision. Why are we here? What are we trying to say? What do we want to communicate? What do I want to sell? What's my idea ba talaga? Let's go back to you asking your parents for permission to watch a concert. What's the vision? The vision is to watch a concert. So even if your mom is already talking about how your tita, uh, you know, once got drunk in this concert that she watched sometime in the 1950s. Yeah, there were concerts already in the 1950s and there was alcohol already then. You know, what's your vision? You're going back to that. Always be able to return to what you're talking about. Okay? Very important is you know and you're able to address the what's in it for them, the whiff, what's in it for them. 
Okay? Remember that you're trying to get financial or some sort of support. So what's in it for them? Why should they support you? Why should they say yes to you? Demonstrate financial aptitude. And this one's very important. It means uh, if you're asking for permission to go to a concert, then your internet connection is unstable. Okay, go on. Um, if you are asking to use a laboratory, then you're showing that you know how to use the laboratory, you know how to use the software, you know how to use the materials, you know how to take care of the lab. If you're asking for, for funding, you know how to manage a budget. So show aptitude, show financial aptitude with, with accepting your idea. And you do this by also highlighting past success. You don't have to brag too much, but show that, show that uh, you know, look, ma, the last time that, that, uh, that you sent me to the store alone, I came back and I even gave you the change. You can show me, you can now trust me with the concert. <clears throat> have confidence in your pitch. Remember, you have to believe in what you're saying and what you're selling. What your excitement is their excitement. So be, get pumped up. Have energy. Brighten up your face, even if you have to fake it. Okay? One good tip, if you're tense, if you have stage fright, before, before go, going it, before going up, push a wall. Just push a wall, push it, push it, push it. Do some jumping jacks, loosen up. Okay, this will get you confident, this will get you loosen up, this will, this will start to get your blood pumping and moving and give you energy, all right? Next is outshine the competition. There is always going to be some sort of competition. Your, 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 <clears throat> your classmate, your office mate, your, your, you know, an arrival production company, Pitching for another for a sim for the same project, outshine them. Make yours better. Make yours more exciting. <clears throat> Sell your benefits. What's in it for them? How come your solution is better? Why did why do you think you're going to be the better choice for the client? Okay, so sell your benefits, and of course, ultimately provide clear visuals. So don't go around telling your client, you know, we're going to make it this nice blue and green combination. You know, what's a nice blue and green combination? How blue is blue? How green is green? How combination is combination? Show me. Show me. Get me excited. Show me, that, show me how wonderful this blue will be and how refreshing this green is going to be. Because my concept of green is here different from your concept of green. Okay? So... <clears throat> Provide clear visuals. Now, last is tell a clear story. And, and the next few slides, we're gonna to get to that, that concept of that flow, that narrative flow, that story, that beginning, middle, end, okay? <clears throat> and we're gonna do that with what's called a pitch deck. And pitch deck is your, quote unquote, your PowerPoint, okay? Everybody's favorite. Uh, meeting destroying device, the PowerPoint. Please understand, boys and girls, that your deck is not your presentation. It's not it. It's only a part of it. So which means that your deck has to be visual and not verbal. It has to tell so that you do not read and it engages and do not ignore. And it's a story and it's not a sale. Okay? The we're using the word deck, which means it's a platform. It is not the means to an end. You use the platform. You stand on the platform. You use it as a basis of your presentations. Okay? So again, visual, engage, it's, uh, it's told, it's not read, it's engaging, and it is a story and it is not just sales. Okay? It's not just facts. It's also a story. So... These are the important parts of a pitch deck, okay? Uh, these are titles. These are elements, okay? These are pieces of uh, ingredients. So what these actual ingredients are going to be made of, what these parts are, 
Well, let's call, let's think a bit about this, ano, like, um, I don't know, a, a smartphone, you know, what are the elements of a smartphone? You have your camera, you have your messaging, you have your social media app, you have your uh, document processor, word processor, okay? Now, what those particular brands are is already dependent, but all, but all of them, like your pitch deck now has a, this is who we are. It has a situation, it has a problem, an insight, a big idea, a solution. It has a why we're gonna rock this thing. And that's why, you know, it, it validates, you know, this is, hi, my name's Jack Garcia, this is who we are. This is a situation. People don't know how to pitch. People always have to present ideas, but people don't know how to pitch. The problem is, it's not presenting of the idea. It's just that people don't know how to present an idea proper, properly. That's the problem. The insight is, the, uh, the insight, this is, my, this is my realization. And the reason why people don't know how to present ideas properly is because they actually don't know what the problem is. So my idea is, is to make a, is to make a, pitch presentation sample so that you're able to take the pitching out of the pitch and you can focus on the uh, on the pitch itself, okay? So that's the solution. Now, why are we gonna rock this thing? I have 25 years of experience, blah, blah, blah. I've, I've, had, to, I've had to take the uh, production houses out of potential losses because I did the pitch for them or I had to do the pitch for them because they couldn't do it themselves. What I need from you is I need for you to, to support me. I need you to hire me, to get me into your projects, um, make me part of your creative teams and your, and your creative management teams. And then what's going to be in it for you? You get me. You're going to get um, human-centered problem solving. You're going to get a professional pitch maker. Uh, you're also going to get direct insights and training, first-hand training in how to make a pitch. So this is what it is. It is about making the pitch happen and making you prepared to pitch to someone. And I want you to hire me. So those are the key elements of the pitch. All of those elements, all of those pieces of the pie, pieces of the puzzle coming in and forming a whole. Okay? Now, how does this work uh, in the real world? And this is now towards the end. We're now going to the wrap up portion uh, or you know not the, the wrap up the um, the noma of this talk. okay provide data 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 but not too much know how much you remember facts speak facts inspire nothing so only put in the facts that you need to push your point to support your story okay now <clears throat> So this is the pitch deck, six basic slides. That's it, six basic slides. You have your background, you have your concept, you have the story, the vision, the strategy, and the call to action. And on the right column, you will see what, the, what it basically means, the basis. This is, the, this is where we're taking off from. This is the today. This is what's happening today. This is what's happening in the, in the outside world. This is what your company, your corporate identity currently looks like, okay? Then you present to me what, what is it? What's the new corporate identity going to look like? Or what are we trying to achieve emotionally or, or, or from a communication standpoint? Then explain. This is what, this is kasi what it's going to do. Here, this is your pitch, or this is your, in film, this is your log line. Then explain, tell me what it is. Now tell me the dream, tell me the vision. How is all of this going to work together? Don't tell me how it's going to work, part one, part two, part three, part four, no. Tell me what we're going to achieve. Tell me what it's gonna look like at the end. Now you tell me the strategy. In your pitch slide, remember you only have six slides, so you want to be broad strokes, okay? We're going to do this by engaging people. We're going to go to the poor people. We're going to give them money. Big, big numbers first, big strokes, big, big bullet points, okay? But you notice the story, how it's flowing? 
from a backstory here to what it is that we're going to be doing. And then in this particular part, how we're going to get there, what, what we want to achieve and how we're going to get there. And lastly, close up with the support. What do I need from you? How do I come into this? If I have a billion pesos and I have nothing to do with it and you just want to give it around, tell me what you need before. I'm not going to assume that you need my money. What if you just need advice? Okay. I'm going to go through uh, a couple of samples of what your pitch deck might look like. Okay. This is one for film. Notice, same, same parts, different versions. So, in the film, what's this all about? Where's it coming from? What's the premise? What is my everyday? Or, you know, this is a world, this what? Is this, um, oh, this is a world where monkeys can talk. Okay? If monkeys could talk, or let's say Planet of the Apes, what's the background? Uh, what would happen if monkeys took over the world and humans became the animals? Concept. Um, Planet of the Apes, or, you know, I come up with my one-sentence log line. And then the story. This is now my three-sentence pitch. Diba? In a, it, is, it is the year 21 something, 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 and uh, monkeys rule the world. And humans are cast away and turned into slaves. What happens when humans want to take back the world? Ta-da, and something like that. Now, what's the vision? This is not what I want to show you what this is going to look like. This is what my film is going to look like. Monkeys that look like this, the planet that looks like that, technology that does this. I want um, you know, monkeys to be to like humans and I want there to be some interracial sex, all of those things. Okay. Then we tell me the strategy. Okay, from now I need this much money from you. We're going to take, we're gonna shoot this over the next three years. We're going to spend so much on CGI like this, and we're going to sell it all over the world. And I want you to be part of it because, because this is now timely when we start to ask each other, what are we doing with the planet? What happens when, when animals take over the planet? What will humans do? At this point, some of you might be asking, <clears throat> so all of that in six slides? I mean, eight, nine, 10, 12. The idea is you're always going back to these six basic ones. If, you know, I cannot, I will not put all my boot boards, all my treatments, all my key art all in one slide. Pangit. Pangit yung layout. It's not a clear visual. So I'll probably use about three slides to show this is what, the, this is what my envision, this is what the film will look like, or this is a sample trailer. There you go. That's, the sample trailer is one slide. But I always go back to these six basic. Here's another sample. This is a business solution pitch deck, okay? Business solution. Again, where's it all coming from? Be specific. Specificity. What are we talking about? We're talking about um, people in the gas station. Is it that? Or, you know, the, what, what is it about people in the gas station? Oh, people in the gas stations, uh, drivers hate, hate this uh, whole thing with Shell. I don't know if you, some of you remember from a few years ago. Whenever you walk, whenever you drive into a shell station, they would bore you with this really long speech about, you know, uh, welcome to shell. You know what? What about this? Gusto mo ng gas? Gusto mo ng ganito? Gusto mo ng hopya? Ng mo? Ng mani? Ng popcorn? Lahat na lang binibenta sa yung buong station. But now I'm gonna come up with a solution. So be specific. Drivers have, uh, you know, we try to upsell our drivers with our BSS. They're called basic service steps. But drivers refuse to listen to it or are annoyed by this. So now you come up with a solution, one sentence, the title or the or the, the concept of your of your. You no, know? my solution is let's remove let's remove the BSS, or let's remove the B, let's remove the BS from the BSS. The story solution now in three sentences. My pitch, describe. It's going to be like this. It's going to streamline the BSS. We're going to uh, re-engage our customers. We're going to be. We're going to teach our 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 four court attendants to listen, not to talk. Hmm, interesting. So again, tell me more. So this is the vision. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Bagong flowchart. Bagong script. Bagong spiel. We'll do a nationwide rollout of workshops. 
how are we going to do this? Oh, we're going to do, uh, let's go from region to region with workshops on how to fix the BSS. We're going to make it interactive and we're going to make it a role-playing game uh, in terms of a workshop, not a seminar. It's because we want our participants to know. So you notice, I'm not telling you how we're going to do things, but not in specific detail. And what, what I need you is I need you to back me up. I need you to give me access to your employees. I need you to, to be honest with me of why we're doing this and how we're going to do it better. Done. The idea, kasi, ladies and gents, of a pitch is that you just want to get your idea out there. This is what, what it's going to be. Bam! And you want people to say, okay, sige, let's talk. Because it's in the less talk when now you get to talk about your details. Um, a research or a thesis, some of you are taking grad school, some of you are, are working towards your thesis or, or capstone projects, and especially academic papers, academic thesis, they want you to present a 500-page proposal so that you can make a 5,000-page dissertation that nobody will ever read. But at the end of the day, when you pitch your idea, or if you want your idea to get there, to get across quickly, use this basic six steps, six slides. Fall back on that. What's the idea? What's the background of the study? Where are we coming from? What's the problem? So tell me the title, Virana. This is going to be a study on the perceptions of students on online learning in the time of coronavirus. What's your story? What am I studying and why? Three sentences lang yan. I'm studying this to find out this because that. Three sentences. Done. Then we go into the vision. Where, what's the theoretical basis? Where am I coming from? What's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the school of thought or the mode of thinking that I'm coming from? What are the methods that we're going to try out? What are the results that we're trying to achieve? What's the vision? What is it? I want to see kasi if people are just saying that they don't like online learning because you know, the student government said it's lousy or because a few people complained on Facebook, we have to ban Duagon. Tell me that. And then what's the strategy? Ayana. This is now for a thesis, diba? methodology, testing, validation, sample sizes, timetables, all of those things. What's my call to action? Uh, how my solution or why my research will change the world. Okay? Why my, my, why my research will, will make a difference. Significance of my study. So what I've done right now, ladies and gents, is I, pres I provided three very different contexts of using a pitch deck. But you notice that the six basic slides never change. The concept of a pitch never changes. This is the structure that I'm leaving with you guys now. It's, it's how you do it. It's not just what you put in your slides. It's also how you do it. It's how you structure it. This is your story. Your background is your, 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 your every day, your once upon time. This is now, this is what we want. The internet is unstable. This is now, you know, where we want to go, what we want to achieve. This is the step by step difference. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, present it, how you pitch it, how you keep it concise. And connected. Okay? Do it, ladies pitching, you are selling what could be. And the best way that I could do this is be also to door a salesman or the vacuum cleaner. He's supposed to be selling you a clean house. How do we get to the clean house? Buy my vacuum cleaner. Look at car commercials or car ads. What are they selling you? Adventure, family time, uh, trips, enjoyment, freedom. A statue. That's what they're selling you. That's the pitch. They're selling what could be. 
if you if you buy this Camry or if you buy this Mercedes, you know, you're going to be traveling in style. I'm not selling you a car. I'm selling you what could be. And that's what the pitch should be, ladies and gentlemen, as I finish <clears throat> this talk. What is it that you want to achieve? What is it that you want to sell people? What is it that you want them to do? What's the story you want to sell them on? And that's what you pitch. That's the story. Okay? So thank you.